dear students welcome back to the class of english today i am going to teach you the fourth type of figure of speech apostrophe after i finish the third type of figure of speech personification first of all i would like to define apostrophe according to pc rain an apostrophe is a direct address to the dead to the absent or to an personified object or idea this figure of speech is a special form of personification uh in this way we see that in apostrophe a dead person or a dead animal an inanimate object or an abstract idea or quality is directly addressed as a living being or human being in personification the abstract idea or quality or the dead or the absent or an inanimate object are treated as human being or living being or uh, having life and intelligence but they are not addressed but in apostrophe <coughs> the dead the absent a personified object or idea are directly addressed as living being or human being this is the main difference between the figure of his speech personification and the figure of his speech apostrophe according to pc rain an apostrophe is a special form of personification because there is only the difference of address in apostrophe the inanimate things the dead the absent an abstract idea or quality are addressed but in personification they are treated as having life and intelligence for example we see the first example o world o life o time on whose last steps i climb these lines have been selected from shelley's poem the lament 
Sally's life is full of pains, sufferings, miseries and he is about to die. He is near death. That's why he says, O world, O life, O time, on whose last steps I climb. It means, he is going to leave this world. He is going to give up his life and he has very short time of life. So he addresses world, he addresses life and he addresses time and says he is about to die. So in this line, O world, O life, O time, the abstract uh, idea, the time, the abstract idea, the life, it is the state of life and the inanimate thing, world. All these things are directly addressed. So, we can say that in the line, O world, O life, O time, the poet P. V. Shelley has used the figure of his speech apostrophe. In the second example, he says, O death, where is thy sting? O death, where is thy sting? Here, the abstract state of life has been addressed. Death is the state of life. It is abstract idea. And the poet directly addresses death and says, where is thy sting? Where is your pain, your sufferings, your miseries? When a man is going to die, his state of life is full of pains. He feels painful at the time of death. So as a scorpion stings a person and he feels painful at the same way, in the same way, when death comes upon man, that time of life is very painful. That is why the poet addresses the abstract state of life, death, and says that, O oh death, it is very painful to die. You are giving pain, you are giving miseries, troubles, pains. So in this way, in this line, the poet has used the figure of his speech apostrophe.